Don't miss September 12th and the 13th, which is the fourth moon, depending upon where you live, is the 12th or the 13th of September. What happens on the, uh, during this time? During the time, Ganesha's energy is getting into uh, the earth plane. And Gana is uh, an alien. All gods are aliens, and they have a vested interest on the earth plane. And what they want to help uh, the evolution of the human beings. So no matter what, you know, how rich you are, you're still <laughs> facing problems. Of course, you can manage it with your money uh, a little bit, but then aging, disappointments, all these things are the curse of the human race. If I have one reason uh, for which I think that my life is meaningful is because we have to find a way out for the entire human race. And that can be done only through uh, the participation of a higher intelligence. And one of the highest intelligence is Ganesha. And this is how the yogis uh, uh, emphasize uh, uh, contact with Ganesha as a primary uh, thing that for everyone, including beings living in other galaxies, Ganesha is very important. So we have a very rich tradition of, uh, from the Indian subcontinent that can teach us a lot about communication with the extraterrestrials. And that's what Ganesha means. And then how you can contact them and what time uh, uh, frame you should uh, uh, used to contact them. All these are uh, given to us by the scriptures, but what happens is, you know, there's the, the popular religion never understands it. And then the popular uh, gurus who have uh, no understanding of uh, what's going on with the extraterrestrial archetypes and how they are related to our body mind. But anyway, this is what I'm going to do well, on the 12th. Uh, I'm going to record it and make it available. A program, a comprehensive program for, hour and hour, hour, for an hour or hour and a half for you to understand. <coughs> Is uh, this extraterrestrial contact only particular to the Indian religions. No, it's for all religions. Even in Christianity, uh, Jesus was telling that I am from heaven. I'm going to go to, because I'm not able to do with the restrictions that I have with this body. But I'm going to at least send another extraterrestrial being, that is the Holy Ghost. The Holy Ghost is not just a spirit, it's also a person. You know, if you read the Bible, uh, it's often said this is a person. Holy Ghost is a person, not just a spirit. The same way is uh, Ganesha, and he can give you uh, solutions for all your problems, remove obstacles, and he is the personification of the highest intelligence. And uh, he can be accessed uh, through your own body, through your own subtle body, uh, through the chakras. So I will be talking to you about the various, there are three chakras, the muladhara, which is the uh, uh, what is called uh, the root chakra in English, then the Manipura chakra, which is the navel chakra. And after that, he is available right in the throat chakra. 
and where he plays a very important role in both the chakras. When the chakras are in the subtle body, all that I will talk to you during this program uh, with uh, uh, meditations uh, uh, to activate those uh, chakras. Now, in this session, I want you to have an experience of uh, how what happens to you when you listen to this Sanskrit uh, chant that I'm going to do to invoke uh, Ganesha. I want you to close your eyes and then experience and put your attention on your root chakra which is at the base of the spine. Om Gananam Twa Ganapatim Havamahe Gana is the extraterrestrial being who can do things, and he is the Lord of that. That's what the chant means, the first line. Om Gananam Ganapati Twa Havamahe Kabeem Kabeena He is the intelligence, supreme intelligence. Kabeem Kabeena Kabe is intelligence and Kabeena means the people who hold the rishis. They all depend on Ganesha. Upamasravastamam, he is the topmost intelligence. Jestarajam Brahmanam Brahmanaspata Anaha, he is the uh, originator of everything. He is the first of everything. That's why in all the temples, if you go to authentic temples in southern India, you will have there are hundreds of statues of Ganesha because he has to be there to protect the space, every space in in the temple. So he has to be invoked and his presence made available at every stage in, my, in our lives as well. Jeshta Rajam Brahmanam Brahmanaspata Anaha. We are inviting him and making him Shrunvan Udi Bihi Shida Sadhanam. Come on and sit in front of us and then listen to our prayers. Om Maha Ganati Pataye. Namaha. What you are invoking him for? He is a Ghana. Yes. Ghana is one, is an angel. Like Jesus said, if my father wanted to help me, he would have sent an angel. The angel will, you know, facilitate everything. He will kill all the Roman soldiers to and help me. That's what angels can do. So we need supreme intelligence, supreme power. And that is provided by Ganesha. That is the chant that everybody uh, uses in invoking Ganesha. So you can listen to these sounds as many times as you want. You can even download it and uh, it's also available in the YouTube channels by different people. So don't miss this. I am going to uh, guide you step by step of how you can access this energy through the use of the chakras and mantras and coinciding with this fourth moon, special fourth moon. God bless.